For the first time ever, 22 singles are flying from all corners of the globe. And I'm from the Netherlands. New Zealand. Sunny San Diego. For a chance to find the one. Are you ready for an epic adventure? Basically, the show is about 22 singles from around the world who are looking for love. And, you know, historically, they've sucked at relationships. So this is an opportunity for them to be able to really get to know people from all over the world. Basically, we have these experts who have matched everyone perfectly. So there are 11 perfect match couples. And their goal in the house is to find each other. And if they find their match, then they walk away with true love and a million dollars. Obviously, there's a lot of dating shows out there. I watch all of them. I'm a huge fan. Um, but I think what makes it different is that there's love and money on the line. So, you know, a lot of people will ask, well, are you dating for love or are you dating for money? And we ask that outside of this show, you know, when you're dating around, it's like, what are you really looking for at the end of the day? But this show is about both. Um, you also co-host Catfish, right? Yes, I do. So, you know, it's hard to believe that in this day and age, people are still getting catfish. Yes. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Everybody asks that. And I honestly think that it just goes into what we already know, that everyone wants to feel and experience love. And sometimes that looks a little weird. Sometimes that means talking to somebody that you've never even FaceTimed with and you've been talking to them for 10 years. The world, the United States at least, is not just New York and LA or Miami or big metropolitan cities. We have these smaller towns where, you know, people have been dating the same people that they've been dating since kindergarten. And it's not fun. They want to be able to branch out. And if that means that they think they're talking to Michael B. Jordan, great like you know it's just something new and exciting in their lives i think um but you know anybody can be fooled anyone can be conned so it's really important to just be vigilant